All right, so Sean Bean, normally we see you on the on the big pictures and this time it's a, a video game. That's something else entirely. Um, can you elaborate on how that came to be, how you got into Hitman 2? Well, it was something that I, I didn't expect, you know, because uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of used to doing regular film television roles and uh, this came out of the blue and, uh, you know, I was quite uh, excited at the prospects of playing or playing a character and then having that be transformed into a, a kind of digital CGI uh, kind of th process. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, you don't really know what to expect when I, I, I didn't. And uh, I came to the studio and we filmed it. We filmed the trailer and um, it was a fascinating experience. Uh, I think things have come along so much, things have advanced so much that, uh, you know, uh, I think there's a lot of actors who are interested in uh, being involved with video games now. And it's, it's qu quite interesting just to try and create a character within the time that you've got. Because in the past, you've also voice acted other characters in video games. Um, yeah. For instance, yeah. The Elder Scroll Oblivion. How, how was this different from that one with the CGI? And I guess it, uh, it was different in that I was in it, you know, physically. And uh, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to be, um, you know, processed. <laughs> But I was in very good hands, you know, there's some great technicians, there's a lot of people working on this doing specific jobs and I guess I create some of the character and they, they work from that. They see other films that I've been in and movements that I make and, you know, so they have references to what I am and who I am and who I play. So they, uh, they've taken a lot from other appearances that I've made. Because it, it's a digital thing, so you can sort of enhance yourself if you're not happy with some parts of you. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about that? It's like, oh, can, can you yeah. make me less clunky or can uh, you make me... Uh, make me? No, I mean, <laughs> I've, seen, uh, I've seen a little of it and it looks really good. It looks really cool and really sophisticated. So I'm, uh, I'm quite happy, but I can't really, I, I don't think I'm in a position to say, um, can you do this, can you do that? Am I? <laughs> no, maybe I am. <laughs> can you boom my hair like <laughs> Are you also going to play the video game itself now that you're in it? I think so. Yeah, I'd like to see you know what I get up to and uh, see what my adventures, uh, where my adventures take me. But I played the uh, the Hitman original and that was uh, that was a lot of fun. I didn't get very far with it, but uh, I don't think I even got through the door, the first door. But it was fun trying. <laughs> because now you actually have the chance to well, let's put it, kill yourself pretty much in the game. Is, is that some, something that you, you were going to try and do? Because I guess that's somewhat weird. Because yeah. in other roles, you, you die. You're known for dying in your roles. Mm -hmm. This time, it's slightly different. Well, I suppose, hypothetically, I could kill myself, couldn't I? <laughs> Which would be a, a um, bit strange. <laughs> you, you also said that there's, it, it's, it's something that more actors, um, are, they're already doing it. Um, with the previous hitman, Gary Busey, did a uh, elusive target as well. Is that something like a new market for actors to yeah. hop onto? Like, I guess it is, a, yeah, it's a new market. It's something new, it's something different. Uh, and, and it's exciting, you know, what people are doing, what people are achieving in, uh, in terms of uh, video games and, you know, that, that kind of technology. And uh, I think it's a natural progression that you would go into that. You, you bring what you can as an actor into a game and that gives it some humanity, some character and personality. And therefore, he's a very, very worthy target. He's, a very, he's, 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 he's as real as you can make him, um, you know. Uh, the game, I guess, can you know take over then, but you bring that um, originality and that creativity to create a character that's, you know, going to be a, quite an important um, fixture in this game. And, and like you said, you've played several characters. Is this compared to the other one? Is this one your favourite? Is this one better than the previous ones? I don't know. I've never played any characters in a video game before. I've done a lot of voiceovers for them, uh, but uh, this was quite a new experience and uh, um, I quite like him you know I quite quite, quite like Mark Faber you know and do you, do you think that when, because it's becoming a new market for actors that at some point you walk on the street and no longer be recognized as the actor from one of the movies you've played in but mm -hmm. as the voice of I, <laughs> I think um, yeah maybe people a lot of people play the game you know they see me in the game but I, I you know I'd, uh, and that's fine you know I'm just I like the stuff that I do I'm quite proud of the um, characters I've played and uh, people like that, that's great. And you also 
mostly play villains. That's maybe something to do with British people always playing villains. I, I know that's that's something uh, a Hollywood thing. What makes a good villain? Because in the game, it's also sort of you're a villain. What makes a good villain, and especially in a video game? Because you can only put the voice in. I guess you've only got so much uh, time, and uh, you know you. Uh, you, you've got it's like um, everything's compacted, and you have to try and get as much character and, and, and as much humanity and feeling in, in, into the character to introduce him into the game. And the more you can do that within that small amount of time, then uh, the more realistic he is, and the more worthy he is of uh, being a target, an elusive target. I have any interest of returning to the franchise in a later role, maybe a bigger mission. Because this is one target. I don't know. I don't know what happens to me at the end. Uh, maybe I'm not around anymore, but I'll have to see. And there are more known actors, for instance, uh, Kiva Sutherland and Gary Oldman also doing um, big <clears throat> roles in, in, in video games. Do you talk about that on set as well, like with other known actors who have also done voice roles for video games? Um, not really. I've, I've, I've never... I, I mean, this is the first time I've... Been a, appeared in a video game, and uh, you know I'm, I'm not, I'm not I'm, I wasn't that familiar with it before. But uh, I suppose it's something to uh, think about. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, I wouldn't ring Gary Oldman and say, "How was your experience in a video game?" That <laughs> Gary Oldman was told by Keith Sullivan because they worked together on a certain title, and Keith Sullivan was first, and he told Gary Oldman, "Oh, you're gonna love this." Yeah. Did you love it? I, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, how that came about because it is it's, it's something new and um you know we we, we created something in and uh, we, we did a day's filming and uh, i think we created quite an interesting character and a, a really worthy opponent for uh, agent 47 so uh, that that's 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 the fun i got from it i i, I really enjoyed just you, you know thinking of on, on the cuff just thinking who he was and making different creative decisions about this character and uh, it turned out really well because do you have any that's the final question i think any interaction with the other voice actors or is it just you in a room reading your lines it's, you know particularly for the trailer it was uh, on, a, on a film set and uh, it was quite a simple set but i had a therapist i was talking to my therapist who i uh, who I kill straight after the session. <laughs> but I'm talking to him about this and that. So he's there. He's a kind of sounding board for, for me and my thoughts and my strange kind of uh, ideas of life. And, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, but I mean, I think that's a, about as much interaction as you get. He doesn't say anything to me and I just, I just talk <laughs> about myself. <laughs> he's that kind of guy.